when it comes to who I am, <laughs> I'm severely clear, my dear. No fear in this new frontier if I've been planning this trip for many light years. You had your World War I and the universe watches. World War II, you exploded the atomic bomb and there was no judgment in our part because the ego detaches. But the alert regarding Earth was warning. The kids have found the matches. We need a team to go down to this land of extreme natural beauty. But be careful when you enter Babylon, for they will slaughter you for less than rubies. So there I stood. Kurt Nugent, light worker, system bust, illusion crusher, answering the call of duty. They said, light worker, we greet you with glad tidings. But in your previous lives, you've been murdered many times simply for your writings. And your mission today? Mm. It's not as easy as it seems. You see, your clarity is now pristine, but before your insertion, your memory will be redeemed. And up in your rival, you'll be wiped clean. The vibration of Earth is dense, the frequency low. So stay grounded in light wherever you go. The illusion is so thick, it's ridiculous. Even the so called food was manufactured to make you sick. Everything is backwards in this twisted reality. The justice system is built up on inequality. Lawmen dressed in uniforms of brutality. Schools destroyed destroy education, doctors destroy health, and religion destroys spirituality. The leaders, the leaders were placed there by puppeteers who don't care, so they instructed them on how to be cavalier in the way that they smear and scare. The planet is covered in fear, engineered to leave you so unclear that you could be enslaved with light beers and empty careers, fail to recall your mission, and you could easily become a pioneer trapped in third density for 26,000 years. This, this is, is not, not an, an easy, easy mission. mission. You're going to need a way to regain your memory fast. So even though it will make you an outcast, we suggest you choose at least one parent who's blinded by religion because you're going to need a contrast. Everything is a test. Ignore the chorus. Stay focused and manifest the best. Every division is an illusion set up to ensure your confusion. You see, you're a part of everything. And everything is a part of you. So there's no race, no religion, no politics, no sexual preference that should ever divide you. You are one. And the minute you participate in judgment, you hit the pavement with your enslavement. Most of the planet will operate in two strands of DNA. You will have the ability to operate in 12. But the only way you can do this is to make sure that the ego yields to the higher self. Calmly, I replied. With the power of the Trinity, I will transcend much energy. I know what's ahead of me. I understand that thoughts create reality. And I've stood on the zenith and seen it. Victory is ours and I'm going to redeem it. So insert me under the sign of Scorpio so that I can transcend from Scorpion to Eagle to Phoenix. They said, Kirk, inserting you directly into Babylon is far too dangerous. We will place you with a different team so that you won't be neutralized immediately up and hitting the scene. We'll start you off in Jamaica, make your way to Babylon shortly after you turn 15. By the time your immune system will be strong enough to resist the poisons of their vaccine. Your guidance system will be the chakra of the heart. Your mission is simple, shine light into the dark. If your religion is anything other than love, you will miss the mark. And if you get caught up in the divisiveness, you will be absorbed by the dark. Forgive and forgive quickly. That is your only path. And whatever you do to a single human being, that karma you will eventually have to marry. In other words, the love that you withhold is the pain that you will carry. You could easily get trapped in third density. So let the words I am guide you back to your true identity. And when you come to a fork in the road and you're confused how to make the call, ask yourself, is this decision serving my ego or is it serving the highest good of all? Be conscious of your intentions in everything that you do. And remember, you don't have to attend every argument that you're invited to. Love will be the greatest asset of them all. Attraction will be your strength. Resistance, your downfall. Your emotions are linked to a magnetic tower. So whatever you love, you empower. Whatever you empower, you will establish. Show the planet how to unclench their fists and establish bliss. However, you're there to teach, not to insist. Your heart chakra's divine guidance and should never be dismissed. And it's always easier to remove your attention than it is to resist. So as you can see, there's never a reason to be pissed. You're being sent to stand out, so don't try to fit in. And when you need to commune with God, that's when you quietly go within. 
And you will know that you've missed the mark once you start seeking him in a building. In this twisted system, you could easily make yourself a victim. Remember that your power ends where your fear begins. So let spirit be your guide. Let spirit give you the words to write. Keep your eyes focused solely on the good. You're there to understand, not necessarily to be understood. So don't try explaining yourself at any given length. Instead, go to nature whenever you feel emotionally spent. Avoid the noise. In silence will be your strength. Trust your feelings in everything that you do. You're being divinely guided. So to thine own self be true Everyone is a teacher They'll need a friend or foe So never be offended Being offended is a weakness of the ego God God speed speed light worker, worker. Second, Second wave, wave of the ground, ground crew. crew May the, the lights light surround you, you. May, the, May force the force be with, be with you. you And as I turn As I turn to leave the room I notice that you were there too Yes, you who are listening to this poem, you who are reading these words, you are right there next to me being instructed on the protocols of third density, being reminded of your mission and its intensity. So it doesn't make sense to me to see you living here in confusion, binding to the illusion, having your ego making the decisions, doubting your transmission, not trusting your intuition. You're, You're a, a god. god filled with inhibitions. So my question is, light worker, have you forgotten your mission?